Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Welcome Kinders, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I know I said I wasn't going to do a plan with me video for July and I'm I'm not going to do a plan with me video for July but I am going to do a flip through of my um, July setup in my bullet journal. I'd said when I did my last one that I wasn't going to do it and a few people had commented saying that they totally understood, that people were really kind about it, but they were a little bit disappointed that I wasn't going to be showing what I'm doing. So I thought, actually, I've left some bits to do uh, while I'm here with you guys. So hopefully this will be just as good as a plan with me. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think. And yeah, if you like this format, then maybe I'll do this ongoing because I think this will be better. I did enjoy doing it without kind of having to be it just takes it takes a lot of work to do plan with me videos I've got so much kind of respect for the people who do them they are really awesome but the film in itself is awkward because you've got to have the camera in certain positions and then kind of doing all the editing and speeding it up and things like that anyway <laughs> I'll stop blathering on about it and just show you guys what is going on for July in my journal so June was just finished and that was my birthday month. I hope that's going to be in shot. Let's move those things a little bit further back. Okay, so I enjoyed the collage I was doing in the last for June. And I, I think May I used partial collage, but I'm just going for like total collage for my cover pages, which gives me that extra thickness that I like and just kind of eases me into the month quite nicely. I chose this piece, which I took out of the... Uh, Earth Pathways Diary, which I've actually got here, so I could show you what the front of that looks like. I find having some books and diaries and things like this on hand for collage stuff, and also like magazines and things like that, really cool. So this came out of here. This, I believe, came out of my Mislexia Writer's Diary, which I haven't got upstairs. That's oh no, I have actually. That's this, which I haven't shown this because this isn't a witchy one. This is more of a writer's diary one. And yeah, this little bit came out of there too. And I'll read this to you because I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in here, but I thought it was so wonderful after just being, it's called Still Point by Catherine Pawson. I thought it was just so, it really resonated for me after the solstice anyway. This, she understood now, was a still point. In the days before, she had chafed against the bars of an unseen cage, pushing forward, eager to know the next unfolding. And now it dawned on her that far from being stuck, she was being freed, being freed. Little by little, as she moved more mindfully in that narrowed place, knots inside her unraveled and new spaces glimmered around her. The future fell away from her mind's fevered grasp and she no longer cared. She came at last to recognize the value of stillness, of the beauty of simple routine and the repeating rhythm of her breath. She ceased to wait and immersed herself in the infinite velvety depth of the moment that is now. And I just loved that. That really spoke to me for this point of the year now. For me, because I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, we've, I've just, we've just had the summer solstice and we are turning into the kind of waning half of the year now, going towards the winter solstice again. And it also, that whole kind of being in the present moment, last year was my my word for the year, which I always choose a word for the year, kind of like a magic word to guide me, my kind of touchstone through the year. This year is emerge, but last year it was present, and this really kind of connected with that whole present thing from last year, and it did, it just, I think there's lots of things in our lives like that that can feel like a cage, like we've got too many limitations on us, but if we just kind of tune in and breathe and be present, be in the now, it, you realise that those limitations are actually something to lean against rather than something to fight against. So I just, yeah, I loved that. I really loved it. And yeah, a little quote from Linda Grant and some um, a little thing from Frida Kahlo, what would Frida do? <laughs> 
<laughs> I love Frida Kahlo, she's so awesome. So yeah, that I've just kind of collaged this, put a few stickers on, done a little bit of drawing and stamping, it's all a bit chaotic, but you know, that's, that's how I like it. <laughs> and then onto the calendar page, and this is very similar to how I always do my calendar pages, except because of the way the days worked out in the month of July, it starts on Sunday the 1st, and if I'd done that on its own, it would have kind of, I would have run out of space for doing the boxes. And I like to have the boxes as big as possible because I do actually, let me see if I can find Junes to show you. There you are, there's Junes. So I do actually fill in these with quite a lot of information. So I like to have the space nice and big and I do refer back to this. I tend to put one of my markers in here so I can keep coming back to it. And I haven't filled in this bit because I thought I would do that now with, here with you guys <laughs> and I'm you know I'm obviously not going to fill in all the like ins and outs of what is going on over the next month I'll do that you know privately afterwards you're not interested in when I've got appointments and when my daughter's got ballet and stuff like that <laughs> but I've already chosen my deck for the month down here I don't know if you can see this clearly enough to, to read it but it says deck card stone focus and my deck for the month is going to be the green witch tarot which the wonderful gorgeous Ashley from Ashley Adulting sent me as part of a gorgeous gift box I don't know if you've seen my video where I unboxed it I think I was I think I was a bit high on the chemicals that day because I was just like Woo! energy scattered everywhere and it was the full moon and everything was a little bit bonkers and I got home and found this gorgeous parcel and it was just all a bit much <laughs> So I did a live unboxing on YouTube when I wasn't planning on going live or doing anything like that. But part of that parcel was this gorgeous Green Witch Tarot, which has been on my wish list for a little while, actually. So it was just really, really beautiful getting this. I've read a couple of Anne Moore's books and I like her approach to things generally. And I'm with these sort of Flewellyn decks that come like this. There's usually a good sized book inside them as well. I haven't had a proper look through it yet because I am going to do an unboxing of this. Not an unboxing because I've already unboxed it and had a little look through. But I'm going to do like a walkthrough of this in a separate video which I'm going to film in a minute after I finish filming this. So this is going to be my deck for the month. I always choose a different deck each month to work with and it's the deck that I use for my daily draws. I do work with other decks as well during the month like for spreads and things like that but this would be the one that I use most often and especially if I get a new deck I love to do that and use it as my deck for the month because I find it a really good way of connecting with that deck. I've written in the Green Witch Tarot because I already knew that was what I was going to be using. And try and find the same kind of Tombow as I used for that to do the next bit of writing. That's close enough. So I'm going to take a card out of here now to be my card for the month. Because I always... Oh, I'm throwing cards everywhere. So I always do that as well. I choose a card from my deck of the month to be my card of the month. You know what? I think I'm just going to pick one actually where it's all fallen out from there. Now I'm just going to choose one. Okay. Seven. Oh, that's not really showing. Okay, can you see that? Yes. The battle wagon, which is the chariot in the kind of traditional Rider Waite Smith scene of things and looking at this card it looks like quite a well the battle wagon <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of energy and movement and really kind of forging a path so that's quite interesting for July as it's going to be I've been feeling more since this solstice even though it is in that kind of waning half of the year now that I am it's a time where I am really kind of reaping the fruit of the seeds I sowed in the new year and in the resolutions I made then. So not resolutions as such, but my intention setting and my my magic word setting that I do then. So that is a really wonderful card to be my card of the month. I'll pop the rest of these. I do find with the Flewellyn decks, and I'll probably say all this again when I'm doing the Green Witch walkthrough later, that they are very slippery, especially the, the more recent, the last couple of year ones that come in these sort of boxes. They do tend to be quite thin cardstock, which I don't mind, but it does make them very slippery. So you do sometimes have cards flying everywhere. So 
the battle wagon. And I'm going to write the number seven actually on there as well. When I do my daily draws, I'll just quickly show you that as well. Um, I record them here, my daily draw tracker. And yeah, I basically just, I've got a key for which uh, suit it is. And then I just fill it in here with a number on the color. So hopefully that makes sense. So if you want to, I got that actually off Jess Roller, who if you follow her on Instagram, you probably will have seen her. And she, this was on her blog, a way of doing a daily tarot tracker, which I thought was quite cool. These drawers have all been in my uh, last journal because this is my second journal of the year now because the other one was full up. So I hope this video isn't too long already. Oh my gosh, we're on 10 minutes, right? I'll speed up a little bit. <laughs> so I've got my... I've got my deck, I've got my card for the year, uh, for the year, for the month, which is the battle wagon. And the stone, I'm going to use these cards here, Lavish Earth Crystal Affirmation Deck, which is a new deck for me that I ordered off Beth from Little Red Tarot, who is wonderful. And I'm going to use it to choose a stone that I'm going to work with this month. These cards are really lovely. They've got a lot of information on them as well. Oh, okay. Creedite. Oof. I'll read you what it says on the card. Creedite has such a wild air about it. It's hard to imagine how Creedite could come into being. And this is the first and best clue for its use. Everything is first imagined before it, it exists. Your dreams, your goals, the biggest and greatest secrets of what you want for your life. Is this something that seems impossible or nearly so that you want so badly? Remind yourself on a daily, hourly, minute basis that if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. Creedite was first discovered in 1916 from the Creed Quadrangle in Colorado. Doesn't it look like high desert? It often forms in radiating sprays of fine crystals. And the keywords are wild, overcoming obstacles, magic and miracles. Wow, and I think that goes amazingly well actually with that card. I don't own any Creedite, I'll have to look into that and see if I could perhaps get some. But if not, I find actually just working with the cards also works okay as well. You have the kind of essence or energy of that crystal from working with the cards. There's also little blessings around here. Blessings, and oh hang on, where am I starting? Enter each day with the expectation that the happiness of the day may contain a clandestine message addressed to you person addressed to you personally. Expect omens, epiphanies, casual blessings, and teachers who unknowingly speak to your condition. Well that sounds very lovely indeed, and I look forward to that. So my stone for this month, and I'm gonna fill that in here, is Creedite. And then my focus for the month, which I usually choose after seeing my cards and stones, and sometimes I include herbs as well that I work with. They check me out saying herbs. <laughs> In Wales we say herbs. <laughs> but I've been watching lots of videos with people saying herbs. It's kind of the American way of saying it. So focus. Oh dear. It's still really hot here in Wales. I know I keep mentioning it in all my videos lately, but I think it is going to my head a little bit now. My focus then for this month is going to be on that kind of magic and miracles and creativity. So I'm going to write down as my focus for the month, creative magic. And later on, I will journal and kind of elaborate more, I'll probably do a spread around that as well of what I need to focus my energies on this month. But yeah, that sounds very, very exciting. So I'm very happy about that for those things. So yeah, that's my calendar. I've also got the moon phases here, just the, uh, the half dark and full moons and a little bit. We've got a total lunar eclipse coming up at the end of the month, a partial solar eclipse as well. So there's lots of, of kind of astrological 
things happening this month. So I just make a little note of those. I do sometimes write in the sign, the lunar sign throughout the month as well, but I haven't actually done this here, but that's kind of cool as well if you're tracking the moon alongside uh, what you're doing. And then I always have this page, which is kind of like my goals to do list, kind of master to do list for the month, really. So in July, I will do and buy. And I haven't filled these in yet. These are, I'll migrate some of my tasks from last month, which I haven't completed. I did do quite well, actually, on last month. There's still a few things I need to buy, which will go in here as well. And then I've got my healthy habit tracker <laughs> and I'm tracking these habits this month and my little mood and energy levels tracker which goes down the bottom here so I'll see if I I didn't do that in that last one oh, here we go I'll show you this is how I usually do it. I tried a different format for it last month but I didn't really like it so I'm going to go back to doing it how I usually do which is like this so I just fill in uh, the if I've done the habit. And then my mood tracker, I track in black. And my energy, I usually track in colour underneath. So I'll just write energy and write and use the colour that I'm going to be doing that with. And obviously I track different habits according to what I'm actually focusing on that month. And that's about that for the habit tracker. There's loads of lovely ideas for how to do it. I am going to fill it in a little bit differently. Instead of just colouring the square, I'm going to make, I don't know if you can see this, I've kind of sketched it really, really faintly. I'm going to make these little shapes instead. So the ones I've, I should have a little row of beautiful, almost like kind of petal flowers going across once it's complete. And then this is my more in-depth gratitude tracker and my go outside tracker because go outside every day is one of my main things for I'm doing this year so in each of these it's a spiral but I found it also looked when I did it almost like the the rings when you cut a tree as well which I thought was kind of interesting too so gratitude is going to go on this side just each different colored stripe is going to be something I'm right that I'm grateful for and obviously on the days where I have more space I can write more things that I'm grateful for and then go outside I just write what I did when I went outside it might be so simple as you know I did a little bit of weeding or we went to the beach or whatever we've done or I've done and then I've just got a double page spread of the astrological info that is going on this month the things that you can see in the sky what the moon's doing and a little bit about this and this is out of my favorite astrological diary which is this the astro moon diary it is a uk based diary i did a flip through of, of these and the other diaries i've shown oh gosh ages ago now and it shows you more of what is inside here but I do like pulling things out of this every month. And I think next year, in 2019, they're going to be doing a US version as well with the US times and time zones in here as well. So I think it'll be a separate version. I think there'll be like a US version and a UK version. So that's quite exciting for people who are not in the UK. It's a very good diary. And then last month I experimented with doing my dailies as kind of like a weekly where people do like their whole week on one page. But I just found I really didn't get on with it. So I'm going to go back to doing it how I know I like doing it. I like coming for a daily check in and I just put the day and the date on the top. And then I fill in on the one side the moon phase and the sign and what's kind of going on little notes for myself of what to do, what is best done during that time. And then I choose a card each day, which I fill in here. I usually do then another little stripe where I just write my menu, what I'm going to be eating that day, and then a little what's on my task list, basically, then for the day or what's events of what is going to be going on that day. And then the other side is my note. I just make notes and like a kind of journal entry, but just in a bullet form on this side over here. And this is from Stamps, which my wonderful friend Matilda bought me. If you saw... I put a photograph on Instagram of this gorgeous box of stamps. Like, I haven't made a very good job of it here. It was, like, my first time doing it. But I'm sure as I go through the month, there's, like, all basically gorgeous little bits of flower parts and 
stems and leaves and things like that so each day I'll just do a little bit of something different so yeah so Sunday will be there and obviously Monday I'll probably write Monday this side and then put the July 2nd here and it'll kind of mirror image it as I go through the month and that is it that is my flip through of my bullet journal for July let me know how you found that format rather than the kind of plan with me format I know the plan with me is just so much more kind of beautiful to watch and everything but hopefully this will be good too let me know and warmest warmest blessings and I will see you very soon mm, da, 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 da. Ah.